Hey everyone, Illusionist Dave here, and have you ever wanted to be on TV? Now, you might be able to get on TV one of these days, but for now, if you've never been on TV, there's one way you can do it using Corel Paint Shop Pro. First thing you will need is an image of yourself, or in this case, uh, anybody, which is Elvis. So I've got my image of Elvis. The second image you will need is an image of a TV. There is a TV. Now, one of the things that I would recommend is when you've got a picture of a TV, kind of have it on a desk. You know, make it look pretty natural. Also, if you've got some glare, that's wonderful. That's a good thing. You don't want a flat you know gray color you want some glare coming off of it now this image has a reflection of the guy in the uh, taking the photograph and that's fine that we can work with that first thing you're gonna do is you can go to your image of yourself or whoever copy it move it out of the way we don't need it anymore you're gonna edit paste it as a new layer now these images happen to be perfect size uh, if you can find images where the TV is just about the size of the photograph you're gonna be in good shape and that's I just happen to get lucky this way uh, um, take your pick tool move your image onto the screen now you may have to adjust it a little bit see right here it's not quite uh, fully covering the screen so you can expand it a little bit another thing that I want to suggest is getting an image with a dark background the darker the background the better uh, because of the way this is going to work now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you're on your image layer that's going to be on the TV. You're going to lower the opacity to about 65%. 63% is good. Or 64%. Alright. Now we've got what looks like this at 80%. This, these are huge images again. You know I like to work large now if you notice we've got some problem because um, the image that's supposed to be on TV is overlapping and not on the screen that's easy to get rid of and there are a few ways we're gonna get rid of that but the way we're gonna focus on today is gonna m we're going to uh, make the layer invisible we're going to go down to our bottom layer, which is the TV layer. Click OK if you get a message. We're going to zoom in pretty close here. Uh, just, you know, pretty close. And we're going to make sure that we select our freehand selection tool. You're going to use point to point, point to point, because that'll be a lot easier to use now if you have to zoom in a little bit to get to the photograph that's fine start somewhere and make sure you kind of go along the contours of the TV screen uh, if you're not perfect you know don't worry about it too much because if someone's going to judge your quality uh, that much then they've got too, too much time on their hands um, of course if you're doing this you probably have too much time on your hands too but anyway enough of that so just keep going as close as you can get but don't worry if it's not perfect I'm working kinda quickly because I have to be fast quite honestly alright so we're almost there Make sure to almost, almost, almost. There we go.
this is the the longest part I may speed it up but I'm kind of almost done now so I don't guess there's I don't guess that would be good all right now make sure your top layer is visible now you got the wrong thing selected uh, essentially what you want to do is go to selections invert selections invert hit delete key whoa make sure you're on the right layer <laughs> again you're going to be on your TV image layer when you do that now hit delete and there you go you're on TV now let's select none and see how this looks this looks not bad actually you notice because of the transparency we've got the uh, the glare which is really nice you could probably do some touch-up work like uh, for instance that looks too sharp what you can do is take your smudge brush and don't make it too big just kind of make it a little bit small and just kind of brush in those areas just to make it a little bit more smooth and again we're going to minimize the image we're not going to make it a very large image so that people can uh, people will not be able to see the, the flaws again there are some you know some minor flaws that we need to fix and you could do this all day I'm not going to though I'm just going to kind of do that uh, you can work on this as much as you want I don't have that luxury since I'm making this video um, and actually if you want to leave a little bit of the black that's fine because it is a TV screen and you know the image doesn't always go directly to the bottom of the screen so that actually looks pretty realistic right now um, that is your final image uh, that's 12% because I've got to make it so that you can uh, see the full image now let's zoom in there we go there's Elvis on TV you can put yourself on TV using the same methods remember to make sure you've got a nice opacity so that and to, and to find a TV with a nice glare so that you get the glare because remember if an image is on TV and it's being taken uh, if a photograph's being taken of it it's not going to be high quality this is already unrealistic because it's too good of a quality if you wanted to lower the opacity even more I mean that's probably a little bit more realistic so just mess around with it and you will have a final image and you can put yourself on TV I hope you enjoyed the tutorial thank you for watching I will